Tesla's next car will seamlessly unlock with UWB. That's what FCC leak suggests. The key fob will still be there at least for now welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news coverage and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story sean hollister reports from the verge.com that apple and samsung have been quietly contributing to a new technology to find and seamlessly unlock your car with your phone without even pulling it out of your pocket and tesla may be one of the first customers with this technology tesla is actively apparently working on building uwb on its cars according to documents filed with the federal commissions of uh, federal communications commission what is uwv uwv stands for ultra wideband and is a short range wireless communication protocol that like bluetooth or wi-fi uses radio waves i remember that i said short wave because it you know you come with your your phone close to your car you don't have to uh, move the phone uh, remove the phone out of your pocket and um and it opens the door so in another place uwbs is explained uh, is used for real-time location systems uh, its precision capabilities and low power make it well suited for radio frequency sensitive environments such as hospitals so for example recently uwb is also used for peer-to-peer -peer fine ranging which allows many applications based on relative distance between two entities so usb also reports uh, the Verge also reports that on September 9th of 2020, the Tesla submitted six new products for the FCC's consideration, including two key fobs, a security controller, and a number of endpoints that would be installed inside the frame and cabin of a vehicle. So these six new products are not six new cars, but from here, these uh, revelations, we will learn that what Tesla is going to change in a, in its next car and uh, what updates are going to come and uh, for example that uh, communication read, reads we tesla uh, the underside hereby authorized bay area compliance laboratory corporation to act on its behalf in all matters relating uh, to application for equipment authorization including the signing of all documents relating to these matters all acts carried out by bay area compliance laboratory corporation on our behalf shall have the same effects as our own action this authorization applied to below six products and those six products areas are security controller fascia endpoint b piler endpoint i don't know what that means key fob another key fob and b piler or b pillar endpoint another one so six new products are coming to your next tesla the verge reports that according to the fcc documents at least three of those products explicitly support uwb communication which i just explained above what's more tesla's fcc filing is unusual in that it includes a complete operational description of the technology something that's usually redacted the highlights here are the highlights it's a standards based implementation of uwb which means uwb phones from apple and samsung should theoretically be compatible and it's designed to let you know how far away you are from the car so a lot of cool interesting things are coming to your next teslas we can know what to expect from upcoming tesla updates recently you know that model s and model uh, x were updated with some nice interior and now we know that what technologies we can expect coming from upcoming new teslas now that ranking is helpful to avoid replay attacks that try to trick your car into thinking its key fob is closer than it actually is but it also also theoretically according to the verge unlocks the ability to find your car in a crowded parking lot using your phone something samsung uh, samsung is already planning to release an app for later this year i think that will be 
really cool thing. So I'm reading that um, you about UA, UWB. It says the device is a fully integrated single chip impulse radio ultra wideband. That, but that's what it st stands for, radio ultra wideband. R the um, R U W uh, U W B low energy low cost uh, transceiver. The device supports frame formats which are compliant to I E E E, and, and there are some regulations here. I don't know how to say them. It's designed for secure ranging applications in an automotive environment. It can be used in two-way ranking or TDOA location systems to locate assets to a precision down to 10 centimeters. It also supports data transfer rates up to 7. Point megapix um, Mbps. I think, what is it, megapixels or whatever. The main objective of the UWB ranking device is to provide a distance estimate which serves as a tight upper um, bound for the actual distance between a sender and the receiver. In, or, in other words, the distance estimate is close to the actual distance and may be longer than the actual distance, but not shorter. In the PKE context, this means that the key is not further away from the car that the estimated distance, uh, than the estimated distance. The distance estimate is based on the time of flight measurement and is immune to relay attacks. This drastically improves PHY layer security compared to an RSSI based distance measurement, which is susceptible to relay station attacks. Those of you guys who are technically um, uh, advanced, you probably will understand what I just wrote um, be, uh, better um, than what I did. <laughs> when I spoke to UWB chip supplier NXP last year, says The Verge reporter, company CTO Lars Reger told me that future cars will likely need several of these UWB endpoints inside the car, possibly at the door handles, to properly triangulate your location and know where you are in and know whether you are inside or outside of the car. Say your kids won't be able to turn on the engine if you're not actually in the cab cabin. This is a very good safety measure and I really support this. So your kids won't be able to turn on the engine if you're not actually in the cabin. You know what happens sometimes they ask you that give us the uh, key so we can start the car so it's warm until you're coming and you're getting your coat or something. By the time you are there, they have turned on the agent and there is a dangerous situation, a risky situation. You don't want your children to be in that. So it's good that your kids won't be able to turn on the engine of your Tesla or your car if you're not actually in the cabin. Maybe they should be able to turn on the uh, air conditioning or, uh, or heating system to warm up or get uh, cooler, but not the engine. Apparently, Tesla thinks that B pillars or by pillars located between the front and rear side windows of cars and a piece of fascia might be good places to put those antennas too. None of this means that Tesla will necessarily add the tech to its cars, but FCC documents are usually a pretty good sign that it's not just an experiment that Tesla will actually do this. I think this is not a bad thing to do, as I explained a little bit ago. The benefits of uh, uh, this, these things, um, I think it would be good if Tesla used it and it may be coming in Tesla in a year or two, maybe earlier. FCC filings are typically one of the last waypoints before a product comes to market as they are only required if you're going to import, sell, or do widespread testing of radio production in the, in, in the United States, uh, explains uh, The Verge reporter. Uh, Sean Hollister. Now, I think uh, we'll, we'll look forward to this, you know, to see when this is coming to the, your next Tesla. Uh, speaking of Tesla uh, new innovations, uh, we just learned from Bloomberg, which is reporting that Tesla puts China supercharger plant, which I've talked about in my previous report, into production. Remember that I said uh, Tesla is planning a plant to produce superchargers to spread them throughout China. 
Tesla will start making superchargers in a newly built plant in Shanghai, the American electric automaker, automobile maker said in a statement today on Wednesday. The Bloomberg reports the move marks Tesla's latest efforts to grow its business in the world's most populated country. The 42 million yuan, which is $6.5 million plant um, factory, will be will make up to 10,000 supercharger poles annually, uh, the statement said from Tesla. China has built more than 410 charging stations for Tesla in 2020, the statement said. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about these developments, the supercharger and also Tesla using the UWB um, to unlock your car. But apparently the, the key fob, at least for now, will be there. I think our phones will replace a lot of things in our lives very soon. Uh, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, friends. Join our community and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or electric vehicle coverage. God bless you, everyone. See you soon. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. Please share these stories on your social networks. It helps us tremendously. And I'll see you soon. Have a blessed day. Peace be with all of you.